good afternoon, good evening, uh, from whichever place you're watching me from. Yes, I've been working on the products, um, the Laravel project called Church Admin lately. I just thought um, it's going to be good for me to share my ideas and uh, show my followers the process on how to actually deploy the Laravel project on local host. And I'm going to be taking this tutorial in series, okay? I've um, been working on that project uh, for a while now, and at, I have the first version, uh, I just the, the, the better version, uh, already working, a lot of improvements will be done, but uh, it's going to be a series that uh, we will all learn something from, and uh, your comments will help me improve the application so this is going to be my first video which is going to be how to deploy a laravel project on local hosts okay first and first before you can deploy any laravel application right you need a server okay a local host server and since i'm using a mac a mac pc i have mamp server already installed okay so now to not to bore you with uh, my long talk let's quickly go into the practical aspect so i have the mac installed and it's i'm running a mac so it's under applications and i have it called mamp stack 7.4.3 i mean point 30 slash one so I open the folder, then you can see here, this is uh, the application that will enable me start and stop a server. I can start, stop, uh, restart, and stop all. Okay, I double click. As you can see on the welcome uh, screen, you will see welcome to map package by Bitnami. Okay, so what we want to do is start this. We have the database, you can see it stopped. We have the Apache web servers, you can see this is stopped. Okay, so what we want is start hold. So once it's running, then we can create our database. Um, we can um, um, deploy the application on top of that database. As you can see, it's now started, it's running. So for us to be sure that this server is actually running, I go to this web browser and say open the URL. You see, it's a local host URL, so it's 127 slash, I mean 127.0.0.1. Uh, some people are, it could be local host. Some people it could be local host slash. It's it's right. Ah, uh, okay. Here it is loading. All right. It's still the same thing. It's either you use the IP or you use local host. So it still means the same thing. Okay. So then I'll let me start it again using what I'm used to. Right. Okay. So I'm used to one two seven. And this okay please note slash php my admin this will take us to the database server right okay so then we have it running and we log in okay the default um username for this server is usually roots okay and you can have uh, any of your any of your um, password here. Yeah. So you log in, you click on login. Yeah, so because we are creating a new application, the application is just the uh, zipped. We have the applications zipped. I'm going to show you how we're going to unzip that application, then um, deploy that application on local host. So first and first, 
you can see here database okay you, or if you are not on that page you can just come to your home page you see database then you, i mean databases then we create a database okay you create a database and how do we create a database by giving it a name right i can just say church admin which is the project that we are going to start a series on right so church admin then we click on create all right so okay good we have church admin created so what next we go to the laravel server i mean the laravel folder i beg your pardon then the laravel folder is in my documents okay here it is this is it church admin zip so i just double click this to unzip wait for it here it is so this is a this is the application right this is the project we are going to deploy so we are deploying this so what am i going to be using i'm going to be using a code ethnic, uh, a code editor right we have several of them we have a uh, uh, virtual studio code we have sublime text we have notepad uh, plus plus it depends on your application i mean it depends on the whole host you are using i'm using a mac and i like visual studio code so i'm going to be using visual studio code to open this application right i mean this folder so what do i do i go to visual studio code then <clears throat> i just want to take this tutorial step by step i don't want to rush into things so that you can capture everything in details okay and in case i'm missing anything you can go down to the comment box and share your thoughts and in case you want to really learn more on how to deploy laravel on local host or live server you can as well drop your comments below all right so before we continue let's first open the folder okay this is visual studio code environment okay i forgot to introduce you to it visual studio code so for you to open any file you come here you see file then you click on open right then you browse to the section where the folder is it's under my document here and here is this uh here's the um folder okay so all i need to do is just click open you wait for it to load here it is so we have the laravel application here it can't do anything we need to run some scripts to download dependencies number one we need to create the environments that is um, connecting the application to the database once it's properly connected we download the dependencies for laravel to run on local host I'm going to be showing you all the steps okay i'm going to be mm, uh i have it already outlined here the deployment okay the deployment i am going to be sharing this also in, in in my comment section you can you can see the process so first we extracted the uh, i mean extract the archive and put it in the folder you want we did as on the on uh what's it called now the document okay so run this command so what does this command do you can see cp meaning it means okay let's go to let me copy this and explain it from here okay you can see we need an environment um file where we can add our credentials our database credential everything relating to laravel configuration is always in the env file okay so um by default whenever you download laravel folder i mean laravel project it comes with dot env dot example file so we are going to be creating an env file using that command we copied so to do that you need a terminal right visual studio code has its own inbuilt terminal as you can see just like uh windows windows has its own command prompt for those who uses windows and uh, win, uh 
what's it called? Uh, Mac also has his own terminal, right? Here is the terminal for Mac. If I click it, you can also uh, run your commands here. But in our own case, we are going to be using that future, the terminal embedded already in the Visual Studio Code. Okay. I just click on terminal, new terminal, then the terminal start loading. Yes. So this is where we enter our commands. Okay. So we can interact with this application via the terminal. Okay. So remember, we copied this from our documentation, uh, the step documentation. And what are we doing? We are trying to create these, which is this, right? The same thing. So copy these to this, okay? When I tap on enter, you notice a change. Here it is. So you can see we now have this, okay? Now clicking on this will show you how the, the, the configuration for for Laravel, right? Okay, you can give it a name here. Yeah. You can give it church, admin tent, that's the name of the project we are working on, okay? You can give it a database name. Remember the database name is church admin. Let me just be sure, let's go back to, to the database itself we just created. Here it is, okay, church, let me just copy and paste so that there won't be any errors. So I think we are, we still have it. Uh, it's correct here. Yeah? Okay. So, so what was the next step? Now we have created, we we have created the database name. We are going to leave the password as blank. You know, localhost can allow you to to connect to database without password, right? If we set it if from my uh, PHP, my admin. To use a password then we have to put whatever password we have chosen yeah so the username is root right okay so we save this file then we have connected okay we've connected the system to interact laravel is now going to be interacting with the with the database okay let, let's just go let's just go to the, the folder uh and you will see that it's empty right there's nothing here, nothing is happening here. So we are going to be downloading some dependencies for Laravel to run on localhost. So for us to do that, we, we, we initiate a command called composer install. Composer install downloads all dependency needed for Laravel to function on, on the server, okay? So we type in composer install. I will share the, the steps already. So we we'll, we we'll wait for like um, forty seconds to a minute for it to for it to download all files needed. Then while it's uh while this is running, let's just quickly go to the steps again and see what next. You can see step three, we run a command called composer install. Okay, so the next thing is that we are going to be populating. The database we just created with this command, PHP artisan migrate seed. So what that does is that it creates a table automatically. Okay, automatically all the tables needed for Laravel to function. Okay, so we copy it and let's go back to the command prompt. Voila, yeah, it's done. You can see that uh, composer install is done. Already, let me just clear out the screen so that you see everything happening here then i i paste this again and after this you can see all the tables are created being created automatically so let's go back to let's go back to php my admin and see the magic okay so what i'm going to do is just to to refresh okay as you can see we have all tables you see it's now populated needed for the application to function right so this is done so the next step is we we generate the key so that the system connects i mean identifies you or or how can i explain this anyway php artisan key generates okay we can generate 
a, a key for Laravel. So, so that you can see here, the, you can see from the env file, you can see that the app key is empty. There's no, no key here. So that's the application key. So I just paste this here. Okay, PHP artisan key generates. Okay, aha. Now that is done. You can see that the key here is being generated. Okay, so the last but not the least for in this process is we run PHP artisan storage link. This is needed if you are going to be uploading files or photos in the application. Okay, files or photos. So I come here, I copy that as well, then paste, okay? PHP artisan storage link, then. So that is done. Laravel is fully set up. So how do we know? How do we browse? How do we start the server? How do we see the application? The way for us is just to use issue PHP artisan serve, okay? That's how you start Laravel just php artisan sub then it gives you a url which is this okay you can see starting laravel server is already started okay then we copy this then we go to we copy it and go to any of the browsers Let, let's come here let's just create another tab here then we paste okay then we enter you see charge admin loading yeah so we've uh we've successfully deployed laravel on 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 a local host let me log, log in the the logins admin admin i mean admin at admin dot uh dot com and the password is password okay so logging in yeah so we have the application application running okay that will be all on this is uh, that will be all for now this is going to be part one of my tutorial as uh, i'm going to be sharing the subsequent uh the subsequent um, tutorial on how uh, on what this um, church admin can do thank you very much